Hi, this is Chip with WebVideoChefs.com. I want to show you how I format videos for the new software iBooks Author. If you don't have that software, um, it is a very popular software. It just came out recently, iBooks Author. You click on the Mac App Store and then you can install it. It has really good reviews so far. And um, I'm just looking at all the stuff, uh, you know how to do things on this software. So anyway, I installed it. I made sure you have Mac. When you do your software update about this Mac, make sure you have 10.7.2. All right. Now, one great thing about this, they have this thing called widgets. And widgets, you can import many things. So let's look at um, my glossary now, or let's look at the, the preface here. And then you can do a gallery, you can do media, keynote, a review, interactive image, HTML, 3D. Right now, we're going to do media, but we're not going to import it right yet because it has to be formatted correctly. So um, here's my sample book. I just put a picture in there and I can, you know, whatever, delete it or put it back, you know, anything like that. Because I went in and I did a template, but I'm not going to go into how you do all of this. If you know pages, iBooks is uh, very similar. So I'm going to show you the video portion. So a good thing about this is that you can have interactive media. Drop an image or movie here. So what you can do, you can go into your media file. You can go in. But when I try to go in and I hit MOV, is not supported. Even an MP4 is not supported. What it does support is an M4V. So watch when I drop that in there. It goes right in there. Um, again, it has to be M4V. So I'm going to show you real quick. And here is M4V, and it plays real nicely right here in iBooks Author. I'm going to show you how to convert uh, M uh, something to M4V, uh, and we're going to use QuickTime. So we're going to go here to our Movies folder, and I have under Ski Videos. And then what I'm going to do, I have some already converted, but I'm going to show you how to do it. So what we're going to do is open up uh, one of these files. Actually, let's delete these real quick since we have these already. And now we're going to open up this file right here in QuickTime 10. Make sure you have QuickTime Player 10.1, uh, and you should be on your way. For All you're going to do is go File, Export. And here's the key. Make sure you had for iPod Touch or iPhone phone 3gs now this is not let me tell you what happens this is not an hd movie or a 720p movie because this was shot this video i shot of myself was from the front facing camera so from the front facing camera it's not hd so if you're wondering why you don't see export and you hit that ibooks video and make sure this is selected and then make sure the extension if you don't know make sure the extension says m4v because if it does that it's not going to play all right, so we're going to export that one real quick, and then we're going to grab one more of these. We're going to grab that ski video right here. We're going to do the same thing. File, export. Now we have some more uh, choices here. So I can go Mac, PC, 720, 1080, but no, we want an M4V. Remember, we don't want an MOV because if we do that, we see the MOV. We want to make sure it's for iPad, iPhone, Apple TV. There it is. So we're going to call this iBooks 2, and then we're going to hit export. All right, now that they're exported and they are the correct file format, we're going to go in our media folder again, and then we're going to just go ahead and look for the extension that says iBooks. So we're going to do our first video here, and it's going to put it full resolution, but we can always, 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 if we want to click down here, hit 50%. And what I always tell my students, you can always drag from the top. You never drag from here. Because if you drag from the left or right or down or the bottom or something, it won't be proportional. But with here, this makes it actually proportional. So even if you mess up and drag here, see how it makes it proportional? So Apple makes it easy because a lot of us drag. But still a good uh, habit to know to drag stuff from the top corner. And that's what I always say. So the second video we're going to put in is the iBooks right there. And we're going to get that one and we'll drag that one down as well or the first video um, we're going to do. All right, so that is how you drag and format uh, and play for iBooks. And enjoy publishing. This is a new, new thing uh, to many people, and uh, we'll be doing more tutorials on video and how to insert other rich media into iBooks, as well as an overview of the new iBooks author software. Stay tuned right here to webvideochefs.com.